what's up youtube back with another video okay and as you guys can tell by the title today we're making some homemade eggnog also like a frappuccino coffee eggnog so what you'll need is here i have a stand or a hand mixer and i put the little blades in the freezer with the bowl that i'm using to get cold also if you don't have one of these you can just use your hand and whisk it but that's gonna be like a lot more work but that's okay so next i have some sugar some ground cinnamon ground nutmeg three large eggs heavy whipping cream heavy whipping and this is a 16 ounces and i also have some two percent milk also you're gonna need a bowl like a spatula another bowl and a whisk okay so we're here somewhere we've never been before so we're at the stove clearly and you're gonna need one and one half cup of milk go ahead and put that in there low medium heat also the same amount with your heavy whipping cream and if your stove cooks fast um, like mine does I keep it on low and then I went ahead and added some ground nutmeg and some ground cinnamon to it no measurements you know I just preferred what I preferred And in your pot, go ahead and mix them together. And next, with your two bowls, you're going to go ahead and separate the yolks from the whites. And I went ahead and used my hands because it's much easier without breaking the yolks. Next, I added one half cup of granulated sugar and poured it into my yolks and mix them together. And the next step here, I'm just tempering the eggs. So what you had in your pot pour it in your eggs and stir constantly and also when you're pouring it in your pot stir constantly just so you don't cook the eggs but at the end we're still going to strain them just in case so next comes the yolks and in the pot and here i had these in the freezer to get cold you want to add your yolks in there with one half cup of granulated sugar i added some at a time and then mixed it together and you don't want stiff peaks you want almost like soft peaks They're constantly doing this. This is what I got. And to test it out, just put a spoon in there and then hold it upside down. Or you can hold it upside down over your head. And if it doesn't fall, you did it right. So here I'm just straining out the mixture that I had on the stove on low heat. Just in case any eggs had scrambled. And as you guys can see, some eggs had scrambled. Next, you just want to whisk them all together, and then after this, I went ahead and used my hand mixer just to make sure it got everything whisked together. So after it looks like this, I went ahead and added my um, mixture into this little pitcher that I have here. And I cleaned out the pot, you know, because this is the good stuff. And I went ahead and kept mine in the refrigerator for about an hour, but you might want to leave yours in, maybe overnight or two hours. Now for the coffee part, Here, I, this is what I use to brew my coffee. Here I have a cup of ice and I poured it like a quarter of the way of coffee and blended it up. So here I have my eggnog, make sure you guys stir it before you add it into your glass. And I poured just like a little bit of coffee but at the end I ended up pouring all of the coffee into the cup. And here I added some eggnog. So here is the coffee one and here is the regular eggnog. You guys can also add like rum to it, alcohol if you guys would like. I didn't. So I'm also topping it off with some nutmeg. And on the eggnog cup, the regular eggnog cup, I went ahead and added a cinnamon stick. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and comment down below what you guys like to see next for me. Also subscribe and I'll be back with more videos soon. Bye.